Always keep y'all in the loop. If you know me, y'all know that R&B Wednesdays is for the ladies. And I always make sure all the ladies have a good time. If I ever see women at my bar um, buying drinks by themselves with no man, I normally will offer them extra drinks or offer them discounts on food or free hookah. You know, I just like to make sure everybody's enjoying themselves. So last night, I randomly ran into two females that was at the bar and um, I saw them buying drinks. So I took some shots with them and it was nothing, nothing too major. Um, wasn't trying to holler at them or anything like that. It's just, I seen two, two young black women buying drinks on their own. So I added something onto what they had going on. So I, um, I go back to my section, I'm partying. I consistently walk around my club and text on tables. Um, this is just something that I do. I'm always making sure that my servers are taking care of the people that I brought into my establishment. So I walk around the club, make sure everybody's okay. I wanna go back to the bar, them young ladies sit over there. I greet them again. You know, this time I, I, I join into conversation with them. I, I ask them where they from, they say Carolina, you know. Um, I asked for part, you know, because I, I lived in Carolina for a little bit. Um, so we have small chats and then um, I guess my bartender to give us another round of shots. So we take the shots. Boom. I leave. I go back to my section. And then the night comes. We all in there, me and my homeboys, some females. We all just talking loud. We saying we about to go to an app hour. So the young ladies are still in there, too. So they ask me, they're like, hey, um. Isn't that you right there? You know, we got the picture of me inside of the club. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Well, I actually, I always tell people it ain't me because I my mom put that up there. So I'll be like, nah, it ain't me. It ain't me. So anyways, like, y'all going somewhere after us? I'm like, yeah, we're going to after hours. So they're like, oh, can we go? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So like, I bet we're going to call our Uber. So I'm like, oh, well, we all about the mob down there. Y'all could just rock, jump in with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we always does this. This is not nothing out the normal. This is just me being regular kicking shit. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, they jump in the car. We ride to um, the after hour. It's like 18 minutes away from the club. We get to the after hour. We get some more bottles. We drink and we partying. The girls is mad cool, yo. I ain't trying to holler at them. They ain't, they ain't too much really trying to holler at me. Um, you know, they dancing on each other, being girls. So, it gets to around like 5.20, 5.30 a.m. So, now I'm like, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So... I tell the girls, I'm like, hey, look, y'all gonna um, call an Uber because um, we about to all get up out of here. So they're like, yeah, okay, bet. So when they call an Uber, the Uber like 20 minutes away. So I'm like, well, in like a couple minutes, it's gonna drop down. So we wait like eight more minutes. It ain't really dropped down too much. So at this time, it's like 5.30, 5.40 or something like that a.m. So I'm really burnt. Like I'm drunk as hell, bro. Like I'm like, nigga, if I stay here any longer, I'm not gonna be able to drive home. My crib only like, Eight minutes up the street so i'm like look y'all can call an uber from my building because i'm not taking them in my building because it's no need you know what i'm saying and i ain't pressed because my building is so secure you know you can't get in can't get on the elevator you can't get in the building you can't do nothing at my building so i'm like y'all can just ride me to the building and call an uber from there at least i'll be in my parking garage where i can goddamn go go on upstairs go to home so i um we jump in the whip, so they like, um, take a shot, take a shot. I'm like, nah, I don't want no more liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm lit, I'm toasted. So it's a gas station on the corner, so I stop at the gas station and grab me a water and a, a Slim Jim. So, and a Sprite, I always I always do this. I always have a Sprite for the morning because I be feeling mad sick and I don't like ginger ale. So I got them, um, stop at the store, so I go in the store, I get that, boom, I get back in the car. So they like, how far is the house from? And a Sprite, I always, I always do this. I always have a Sprite for the morning because I be feeling mad sick and I don't like ginger ale. So I got them, um, stop at the store. So I go in the store, I get that, boom, I get back in the car. So they're like, how far is the house from here? So I'm like, it's like three minutes up the street. They're like, all right, bet. They're like, well, um, it's only a little bit left of liquor. We got to this last shot. We might not even see you no more, but we appreciate the hospitality and, you know, making sure we good. Da, da, da. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Take the drink. I drive home. I made it to the, my house. That's the last thing I remember, y'all. I woke up at, I think, like 12.30 this morning, afternoon. These girls done took both my Cubans. It's like 60K. Took four of my gold diamond rings, my pistol, and a couple thousand out of my pocket. I don't even remember 
what the fuck happened, yo. But now, I came to the hospital, and they're giving me IVs and all type of stuff to uh, flush out my system from the drugs that was inside of me. Um, I threw up a lot. I guess whatever it was was eating the lining of my stomach, so a lot of blood came up with the throw up. Definitely doodle boy, definitely diarrhea, and uh, just a real, real bad headache. So uh, I say that to say I would never in a million years would have thought that that would have happened to me, for real, like never. And the drug that they gave me, if they would have gave me too much of it, I would have OD on it. You know what I'm saying? I could have OD. And um, these girls are stupid. Just dumb because they stupid ass actually used their debit card in my club. They used their debit card in the club, so I have the transactions. And I'm able to pull your name and everything from the bank. All your information. Then y'all called an Uber to my club. We got you on surveillance getting out of the Uber. So I get the license plate from the car. They also took an Uber from where we was at. They got cameras. So the detective, the police got to get that information. Because I can't get that. But from my restaurant, I got you, bro. Like, And I say that to say, like. I really don't care what happened to y'all, but I know one thing. Y'all ass going to jail. Y'all niggas could have took me away from my motherfucking kids. For real. My son would have had to deal with watching his dad on Google or something saying his dad overdosed. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas just got to be more careful, more aware. And I'm, I'm always aware. But this time right here changes everything. Cause I really don't remember nothing. Like I don't remember anything after that. And for them to be able to get my chains off of me is crazy. But all that could be could be uh got back. I got insurance. I'm just happy that I'm still here. I got another day to see my kids. Cause that's really all that be mattering now. To me. But be easy. Carolina girl, Gabby, we gonna find you.